start of the Vampire Counts campaign, part 8. And, uh, in the last part we managed to destroy a dwarven city. Uh, just at, at our southern border, Karag Gromar, you can see there. And, uh, yeah. They declared war on us, so we made a kind of preventive, preventive threat. And now we got some cash! Oh no, they did. They made a confederation. Ah, we're screwed. Or are we at war with these wolves automatically now? Oh, thank god. <laughs> so that may perhaps have worked out well. They are des defensible. Def defensible? Defensive. Talk, then. I don't Gonna want no to orphan. fight horse. So maybe, we're, maybe we're, we just maybe we we were just incredibly lucky, or maybe March. things are get about to get much worse. I don't know, but we shall see. So we got some cash now. So let's build some defenses here. And since I, I mean. I would want to build some kind of economic building here, but I don't trust the border princes. <laughs> Not at all. So we'll go for more defensive uh, buildings. Don't think so. Oh, they have already an army here. Hmm. Uh, they are taking attrition though. Small amount, but yeah. Don't trust them. Can't trust them. But now we can probably still need to babysit this province a bit more. Oh, they have three of agents here. Hmm. Do you need fresh troops? Really annoying. Very, very annoying. And they are at war with all the factions, I think. So it doesn't make sense for them to try and just send their agents over just to mess with them. mess with us. Economy upkeepers, yeah, that could be useful. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Well, you can come back here. You're keeping an eye on things right here. Yes. I foresee great your wish, master. I'll remake Van Hell's spell. I thirst. Blood kiss. Hmm. Mm -mm. I need more minions. That that isn't enough. Hmm. Not enough. We need more corruption. It's these units here. That we need to get rid of. You'd think the vampire counts would be the one to spread corruption and not vice versa. Or not the other way around. They have the living faction spreading or removing corruption even though they don't have any settlements in the province. But at least now some of them are moving away. In fact, all of them are moving away, so maybe they've come to their Prepare senses. Prepare your defenses well, Ooh. for the forces of chaos spare Christ no chaos. one in their quest for bloodshed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they'll be arriving, maybe not. Too long in the future now. 
across the map. Oh, come on. Yes, oh. my sire. Get out of the way. Strike out. Let us make. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And we will have a rebellion here next turn. That's fine. I'll take Shinar's throne. Let's see here now. Corruption. Yeah, it's up now a bit. We need it higher. Get some more money. <laughs> Small amount more. Mm -hmm. That would be all of our money gone, so no, not now. Oh, we got a chaos. Units here. Crap. Ugh. Annoying. Moving about. As long as he doesn't stay in one place too long. Rebelling in. Yeah, but it should already have happened. It was minus 3 and at 99, but it didn't happen, so... Hmm. <laughs> Weird, something has probably gone wrong here. A bug or a glitch or something. Another chaos unit here. Why would they just... Uh, I hate it when <laughs> the AI kind of just ignores all sends and goes after the human player. Like this. I mean, they would spawn oh, way over here. Chaos armies. Somewhere here. And then come down, eventually making their way here. But ju just, it would make much more sense if they had their agents with their armies supporting them. But, uh, they will all pay. Yeah. Right then, so I'm feeling a bit offensive now, so... Let's keep moving. This way. Thinking of attacking Pylos. They do have not. some armies Absolutely here, but not. they are at war with the Empire, so hopefully they won't dare to move them. But I don't like having them here. Come on, get rid of him. Critical failure. Ah. Uh. Such arrogance. This night. Very annoying, to say the least. Do it. Failure. As always. Expand Sylvanius borders. Sorry. Failure. Oh, oh, failure. Dwarves are going for a suicide walk through our lands. Chaos agents are moving about. That's good. I have now left our lands. Oh, come on, they keep sending their agents to <laughs> every other faction using our lands as staging grounds for their agents. And now they killed one of our. Or wounded one of our agents and the rebellion mechanics is still not working uh, which is both good and bad 
It would have been good to have them spawn actually and then you could have just killed them. And now corruption is going backwards. Great. Very great. Very much great. In all ways. Let's see here now, we could do a assault. Ooh. Public order is going down. Oh, we can't move the army. Fight! But let's do this, let's attack. I think, or should we, should we wait? Some really a lot of issues to deal with. We have n low income, we have a lot of open building slots, we have not enough vampiric, vampiric corruption, but we have increasing chaos corruption. And we have a lot of enemy agents to deal with, we have dwarves wandering about, and we have the border princes, and then we have these guys. Hmm, should we risk this situation here? We should be able to win that. They wouldn't be able to attack directly, so we will have some time to prepare. Well, let's do it. Come on. Oh, we know in the wrong stance. We will take attrition here though. Hopefully it's not when we're if it hopefully it's not just when we end a turn in this province that we will take attrition. So hopefully it won't we won't be taking attrition one when we're just moving in it. And you wanna move around, okay. Hmm. I think we'll have to risk it. Oh, we didn't take any attrition. Good. Oh no, they have walls. Oh no, 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 no. That was sick. And we don't have any siege. Yeah. We will be able to attack next turn, but then these guys will have reinforced. Oh, such a mistake. Yeah, and there is no no way coming back from that. <laughs> oh, not good. But we'll keep them there. You dead. Uh, I think it was a mistake taking these. At least when start. Because we're just having so much trouble. Problems? <laughs> Tr problem, problems and trouble. Maintaining it. Wow. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Still no rebellion. That's something that maybe he needs fi fixing. <laughs> oh, they didn't move. Oh no, they did over here. No, this is wolves. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? I will not obey. Oh, they moved the larger army over here. Maybe no. towards supporting Vodpod, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, maybe they were gathering that Noon could withstand an attack, but they're actually kind of weak. Hmm. 
lot of strangeness is happening, but at least now we can attack. We only have a battering ram. We could send, I think, at least the bar guys to... We c I think we can send some units to climb over the walls. Hopefully, or attack the gates, but... Is this a suicide charge? We don't have any missile units, we don't have any artillery. We, j we have to get into the city. And this is what we'll be up to against. In mortars, yeah, not too concerned with them. Nor with the uh, outriders. Got some crossbowmen and any others. The missile units are kind of always mm, the most important thing on our melee units. Halberd Halberds, yeah, we don't have any missile units to take care of them. Hmm. This will be a very difficult battle, I think. That's good. be aggressive I haven't I don't think I have fought a battle on a minor settlement with a wall so but it's the same layout you can only attack from one angle but we do have the Varg heist of course they can fly over the walls but hopefully they don't they don't have like insanely powerful towers that can fire all over the map as in the provincial capital Digis. We need a victory here. Take this city. We may I don't know if we will hold it or just destroy it. Then move up. Take the remaining two cities that stands before us and the Empire. Oh wow. Okay, so it's basically transformed the city into a capital, right? Oh, and their tower range... I'm just gonna assume that this covers all of the map. I'm not gonna have the can rates man the battering ram. Oh, and there's a little tent in the way. I think we'll have to give it to the skeleton warriors because they have shields. And let's grab our zombies and have them stand here and take some of the fire. Let's get the warriors a bit further back. And then we we'll keep our more valuable units in the back. Hopefully they won't target them. We can't afford to lose them. I remember having a... When I played as Chaos, I remember having a unit of Hell Cannon getting destroyed. I even tried, it got destroyed quickly and then I m moved the artillery crew into a forest, tried to hide them, but still the arrows could, the tower could see them and then they just killed them. It's just very annoying. So the tower range has to be limited, for God's sake. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a bit... I mean, are they vampires too? <laughs> or do they just have a can- Oh, what's that? What is that? The weather balloon or kind of alarm system. <laughs> Very weird alarm system. Oh, they have more balloons here. What is that? I have no idea. That's weird. Very weird. Here come the skeletons. They are taking fire, they're getting destroyed. We can send... Oh, the zombies are already getting shot down. I think we have to send them in. Let's focus. Well, now we don't. We can't focus. Really. We just need to spread out a bit, and then we'll use the war guys to support where we are strongest. We need to claim the walls, basically, and then make way for our more powerful units. 
like, oh, come on, skeletons. You need, probably you need to send forth another unit to pick up the battering rams when these guys drop. At least the ram hasn't been damaged. They aren't targeting our strong units, that's good. Crossbows are now in range, but they are moving about. The right side is a bit unprotected, that's good. We're sending our spearmen, skeleton spearmen over here. going pretty good actually. They haven't killed too much of our units yet. So maybe there's hope for a victory here. Battering rounds approaching the gate. Ladders are coming into place. And here we are. Oh, I just... Oh, I'm sorry. It's me. Okay. Mortars are now firing dangerously close to their own walls. Let's see now if there's anyone at home. Knock, knock. Knock. Oh, it is really destroying the walls quickly. So let's send in everything now. At least the infantry first. Skeleton spearmen are really are, are already conquering the eastern walls. Oh, mortar shot coming in. And coming. Gates are destroyed. Oh, they have sword infantry guarding the walls. Right then. We'll wait. Oh no, they are killing my Vartais. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Basically turning this into a rush fest. We need some dead. Come on, get in there. Skeleton spearman. Claim the walls, except for you guys. Stand around here. My zombies actually made it to the wall. That's incredible. I'm doing a fine job of tying up the crossbows now. Oh, we're gonna get the gate, I think. Uh, Vark has where shall I send you? Let's get over here. No, not to the halberds, actually. Tie down the sword unit. Come on, land. Oh, oh, that's that was a great charge. Great charge, and now the supporting zombies are coming from. Wow. Let's see if now. No, I'm not gonna risk my Vargas against the Outriders. Now we can send them in against handgunners. Send in my better infantry now. Cavalry as well. Just get in there. It's only sword infantry guarding the gates. Kemmler, where are you? You need to do something in the kitchen. Heck, help out your Vargas. Raise more dead. Here. Handgunners are gone. Take to the air again before the hell hellboats come. Come on. Come on. Sigma! Zombies are doing fine. The ultimate assault unit. Now we can probably risk attacking these guys. They are hellboats there, but they are attacking spearmen already. 
Oh yes, this is my favorite unit of all guys. Love this unit. They're a bit squishy. But really, you can't beat that maneuverability. Now, airborne again. You guys have killed the captain. That's good. So let's just send ignore them and oh, come on. Oh, they're all red. Good. I think we've got this. Run! Yeah, they're broken. Uh, oh, this guy has a turn. I can't believe how useful our zombies were there. They really... I mean, they have most of their forces in the center and a bit to the left. And the zombies really close down the left flank. While we can swoop around the unprotected right side. That went really well. Now we can move on. See if we can just ignore these guys, leave their leave the zombies to their fate. They've done their work. Come on now. I want everyone moving. I will wait with the bar guys. I just don't want them to get chopped down by the outriders. So cavalry, we need you moving. Come the back knights. Now we can send the ball, guys. That was a really fun battle. And a nice victory. Nice necessary victory. But uh, yeah, as I said, I was really surprised by the zombies' performance there. The rest of the units didn't take too much casualties. Considering it was a siege, I think that was a pretty good. Pretty good battle. And it's nice to see the the units actually doing their roles, playing their roles as they should. The zombies taking a lot of damage, ju basically just keeping the enemy units occupied, and then the better, more expensive units really doing damage that they should, and not taking too much casualties. Right. Hmm. 
should we occupy or raise? Well, not sure actually. It would be taking, taking Fyldorf. I mean, it would be taking a settlement in a new province that we haven't got any previous settlement in. So we'll have to sort off corruption and public order. And it would be difficult, to say the least, so... Could sack it, and then score it. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. Good. Very good. Just move back into Don't our province, me. replenish, and replenish. We're wasting it. Can probably merge you guys to get another unit, and just like that, almost replenished again. And we'll destroy file off next turn. All will be well. Hopefully. But I think I'm gonna... I'm going to upgrade this thing here. And then build a... The building that... <coughs> helps with... The spread of vampire corruption. Because we really need it. So maybe we can upgrade this building. Yep. So things are looking a bit better now with that extra cash. We need now to keep an eye on this forest. It is taking attrition though. That's good. And of course there is always the risk of Ostland declaring war. Maybe they are already at war with some other factions. Yep. Hopefully they are too busy. Oh, let's see if we can get some trade. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Talk at no, me, not you really. Trude Lang. Not really, but we are getting a bit. A bit we're making some progress here now. So let's. Yeah, I think maybe one more in turn. Still no rebellion. That's weird. Weird, weird, weird. Still not enough corruption. Result. 
Boom. Spread the rot. Nice. Now we have destroyed one settlement. Oh, we're sending. I refuse. Maybe a small army over. Now. Not sure if we're actually gonna try and support. And we're back. Let it go. No. I need you can't reach us. Minions. That's good. Got some dwarves here. So. Not taking attrition though. Let's see if we can... Oh, we don't have any agents in the area. One more enter. see here they moved back that army over Absolutely there okay. and now we should take looking at taking Wissenberg as well Let us make do. Uh, but that will that would mean moving through uncorrupted territory yeah of course hmm. Now they're attacking here. So they moved Not. way around here just to attack Fort Oakstrike, probably. Which is very weak. The settlement level 3 and still no garrison, basically. Okay, so we're gonna lose that. Uh, crap. The true so but we will have to wait in the next part and see whether they attack or not. But we are getting closer, I think, now to destroying this land. I mean, this army can pretty much destroy everything here on its own. Should they not be able to recruit? Or they will recruit more units here. And then we will be close to Reichland, the heart of the Empire. And maybe then we can look to... Once we got rid of Wissenland, then we can look to establish... Maintaining our bet... <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my words here. I'm trying to... Say that we could... May maybe then... Um, manage our provinces a bit more and then yeah get ready for pushing further west and uh, yeah that's basically the plan so wait, we'll have to wait and see what happens with this army I will not obey but yeah that will have to be for that will have to wait for part nine if I'm not mistaken so thanks for watching as always and uh, feel free to comment rate subscribe and all that other stuff and if you if you aren't following me on Twitter then check out the link below you could find it's probably the best place if you want updates information stuff like that and uh, if you don't follow my videos regularly so 
check that out if you want. And yeah, that's that's it, I think. Thanks for watching again and bye for now.